the president's under a lot of pressure um, from Republicans not to fire him before the midterms because there's a feeling that that would set off potentially a constitutional crisis or or at, at a minimum uh, very you know politically distracting. Uh, moment for the Republican Party to have to deal with ahead of the midterms. So they're they're urging him to, to keep things stable. Don't rock the boat. Let us go campaign and talk about tax cuts in the economy and so forth. Um, however, Trump has clearly soured on Sessions. He has no confidence in Jeff Sessions as the attorney general. And there's a growing feeling in Washington and in Trump's orbit that that's simply not sustainable. And I think the most telling sign we've seen the last few days is Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, who's become a confidant of sorts uh, to President Trump saying, look, you know, sooner rather than later, Sessions is going to go. The president's going to need to have an attorney general he has confidence in and faith in. And he suspects that soon after the midterm elections, there will be a change. Um, I just I you know, I don't know when that change will come. And, and when it does come, it'll be a huge moment for President Trump. And there'll be a couple factors to consider. One will be whether Trump tries to appoint a new attorney general as a recess appointment when Congress is not in session, which would mean the new attorney general would not have to face a confirmation hearing in the Senate and therefore not be pressed uh, under oath in, in, you know, in front of public view to answer questions like, will you promise to let Robert Mueller continue his work as special counsel? And will you avoid politicizing the Justice Department as the president wishes?